things do not always go as planned. We know this. Uh, we might have or you might have organized a huge party and you were forced to cancel at the last minute because of bad weather, there's a snowstorm storm because the, the guests cannot come. That's part of life and we have those experience. And it feels that this is the point of one of the strange parables we can find in the Gospel according to Matthew, the parable of the ten bridesmen. Um, like I said, this is a strange one and usually minister and preacher when they have the choice will try to run away from it because um, we look at it and said, what is going on here? It, because it starts uh, Jesus saying the kingdom of heaven is like this. And we're expecting a good story. But it's the story of ten bridesmaids, five foolish, five wise one. Uh, the foolish, uh, both, all of them bring uh, their lamp because they're waiting for the, the bridegroom. But the five foolish one do not bring extra oil when the wise men the wise one bring and the bride's room is late they all fall asleep and then they wake up well the lamp has burned all the oil so the foolish one said can we can, can you share some oil with us and the wise one said no so go somewhere in the middle of night and i don't know like walmart and and try to buy something and when they're gone the bride's group come back and bring the five wise one inside and when the foolish one come back, you knock at the door and the bridegroom said, yeah, stay there. That's it. <laughs> and, and and Jesus said, well, stay awake. You don't know time. And said, what is, is, is that? What is the kingdom of God? Because what we assume the kingdom of God is about love, forgiveness, sharing, mutuality, solidarity. And we have this strange story said, what? Well, maybe this parable is, a ten, is an invitation to reflect on how we behave when things don't go as planned. Yes, the bridegroom is late, the bridesmaid uh, fall asleep. No problem here. And then they wake up. And that's the plan that they all have don't stand anymore so the question is how would they behave what decision will they make will they share their limited resource or will they be selfish will they set people away or they will stay together and face the situation together will they later open the door to those who we're not able to enter with the rest of the party or, or open the door to those who not necessarily fit the pattern or fit the system. Or will they stay? No, stay outside. In the cold, we don't care about you. There's so much opportunity, so many opportunities for ministry around us. Sometimes there's too many and we don't know where to go so so what to do so we make plan but once again we know that plan rarely go as how we plan them so what would we do then would we reverse to our primal instinct of survival I will do ministry just for me or just for my group and I will take care of myself and the others Nah, too bad we will, will, would we stick to our plan? This is what we have planned and we will keep it. And if some are not able to follow, well, too bad for them. If things start to go up, uh, crumble apart, break apart, no, that's what we will stick. Or will we try to find another way? Maybe in the case of this parable stay in the dark maybe the bridegroom does not care if you have oil in your lamp and your lamp is lit or not maybe they could believe 
that they have enough space and resource to open the door of the, the place where they were and everybody can come in. Maybe it's to accept that the initial plan was maybe not the best plan, that there's something better that can come. I guess when Jesus tells us to remain awake, I feel it's almost like wake up people. Remember what is your ultimate goal here? Is it to have oil in your lamp or meet the bridegroom? Is it to follow the initial plan at all costs or is it all about the kingdom of God? And that's what we are challenged, I think, with this parable to reflect upon and look at ourselves. How do we react when things don't always go as planned? That's all for today. I remain the lectionary man, Reverend Stefan Vermette. And until next time, take care of yourself and bye-bye.